Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us introduce about... Guys, this is also just an introduction of developing a use case. In our next unit, where we will be learning about designing, in that we will be discussing in detail about each and every component which we will be using in use case. Guys, here also we will be just going to some introdu introduction only. Okay, so use case describes the system behavior under various conditions as the system responses to a request. So basically the use case diagram, okay, just give me a second guys. Okay, so this is a use case diagram. We have discussed already about this exact use case diagram. So in unit three, when we are discussing about scenario based model, we'll be discussing about use case diagrams in detail guys. Okay. Okay. So in use case diagram, we'll be having actors guys. So these guys are called as actors and these arrows are called as relations and these circles or ovals you can say are called as use cases. So basically this is nothing but you can assume as a small function guys or a functionality or a service. Okay. So the customer will be requesting for this thing. So he's ordering for food and once he orders the food, the request will be going to the waiter and waiter will be, will enter the details of the food and it will be read by the kitchen, kitchen guy and he will be preparing the food and the waiter will deliver it to the customer. And along with that, he will once, uh, once the eating of the customer is done, he will be delivering the bill also, which is collected from the manager. So this is a small model, guys. You can draw like this models using the use case diagram. Okay. Okay. In other words, use case diagrams show how to, how the end users will interact with the system. Yes, that's what we have seen, right? So use cases are defined from actor views. So basically it is from the user view, like the actor view will be checking everything, not from the server view or the backend view. Okay. So an actor is a role that refers to a user or a device that interacts with the software. Okay. So it shows the relation between the actors and use case. So basically this is nothing but our use case. These are the relation and these are the arrows that are nothing but the relations and these are the actors guys. So we are having an actor called programmer. We are having tester. We are having troubleshooter. We are having monitor. So we are having multiple actors. So actors are basically divided into two types guys. That is nothing but primary actor. That is nothing but these actors interact with the system to achieve the requirements, requirements of the system. Okay. So he'll be discussing about functions and driven activities. Whereas the secondary actor is nothing but who will be at the back end, who will support the primary actor. These actors support the system so that the primary actors can work without any issues. So this is just a small introduction about, uh, sorry. Sorry, this is just a small introduction about developing use case diagrams. So I hope everyone got a small idea on this. So in the next lecture, we will be going through some basic introduction about building the analysis model also. So let us meet in the next tutorial. Thank you. Thanks for watching.